Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Playing Torchlight 2 again, so this is going to be uh, episode 5, I think. Yeah, I think it's episode 5. Anyway, I'm sure I'll uh, put the annotation correct when I come to actually uh, release the video. But, um, so in the last one I freed uh, a man who was captured inside a cave and freed his two spiders that were in there with him um, that they treat as daughters and sons and various other weird and wonderful things in this game but um, what I didn't manage to do was anything in the actual main map area that was a dungeon so uh, onwards and upwards as they say onto actually doing some of the story and hopefully Leveling up a couple more times as well. Right, so... There is a question mark at the top, but I think that's where I need to go. So let's clear this area down here first. This isn't going to be like my Diablo series where I'm, I'm running it. Um, simply because this is a, a new released game on PS4. Um, so a lot of people won't necessarily have seen the gameplay mechanics. They won't necessarily have seen the game at all. So uh, I do want to do a bit more time. Um, and it's still one of the only games that includes mimics as well, which is brilliant. Um, bought courtesy of Dungeons and Dragons when they first came out with the idea of chests that aren't chests. Um, <laughs> A lot of games have adopted them in the past, but it seems Torchlight is the only one that's continuing to do so, which I do quite like. Although, you never like finding a mimic, in fairness. Um, I just like the concept, of course. Um, <laughs> well, that's that section cleared. I still do like using this cannon, especially when I use that ability. It's... Uh, Definitely good at clearing the area, and the knockback's useful as well. It's just a shame it doesn't work as much on uh, bosses or champions. Enchanting. Oh, I always hate this sort of thing. Should we try and enchant my uh, gun? Let's do it. Oh, excellent. Increasing magic find luck. We try again. Reduction in fumble chance. Let's keep it now. You have a reduced chance every time. So I think he used my luck on the first two ones. First two ones? The first two enchantments. I'm a very unlucky person normally when it comes to games like this. RNG hates me, so... Um, okay, I need the Ember Keys. Now the first time I did this, I actually went searching around the same area. I didn't bother going inside, because I thought it was saying to get in, you need to uh, find these Ember Keys. So I literally searched the entire map behind me, even though I'd already searched it. And couldn't find it until I realised when I went back to see him just to see whether he'd give me a clue. It turns out that um, I just needed to go through the portal right in front of me. Or the door right in front of me. Annoyed is not the, uh, not the word. But there we go. Right. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't much that uh, happened in that last section. So, hopefully in this section there'll be something a little more interesting. Um... Me dying seems to be potential at the moment. Okay. Don't breathe your icy breath over me. Gee, it's not very nice.
Okay. Nether blobs. Oh dear. Come on, healing bot, do some healing. There we go. I don't like that thing, it just seems to be... Uh... Come on, pet. Stop it from hitting me. This is why you need a multi-party, yeah. Uh, multiplayer party, really. Excellent. Dropped me absolutely nothing, of course, which is not surprising, but would have been nice if I'd have had some excellent equipment. those nether worms before they uh, bury themselves because they turn into those blobs if they uh, manage to bury themselves. And by blobs I mean those purple things with teeth that are coming now. Other than two scrolls, they dropped me nothing. How rude. So, I do have a level that I can add by the look of it, but... Um I do want to try and give you guys something a bit more interesting to watch than... Uh what's happened so far, although that boss fight was interesting. Oh, these these are a bit weird. I never quite understand these ones. They're just obelisks that have repeated number of enemies that show up, and then once you've killed them all, you kind of... Take their shields out. Like that, that's about it. Right. Come on, pet, hit him. In fact, let's see what damage you're doing. You're not doing too bad, actually. Do we getting you some more damage, but that's down to uh, tags and collars. And skills, of course. Anything that adds pet health and damage. Yeah, I don't get it. So, they just kind of chuck out random loot out of an obelisk. After doing a certain number of uh, enemies, set off a trap. 
You have those in Inquisitor Martyr, actually. Trapped chests. The ones in Inquisitor Martyr don't actually give you anything for it. So you you end up getting attacked by usually three turrets, but you get nothing for it at all. Um, okay, that's interesting. Again, there's nothing there. I suppose I should put some more. Interesting. Am I just getting frozen all the time? Because my, my shots seem to be extremely slow sometimes. Right, well, I reckon... that once I get to the first of the uh, temples I'm going to leave it there simply because if I don't this video is going to be very long um, and what you can do for me is let me know down in the comments whether you, you only want to see dungeons I mean obviously these linking places are basically the same as dungeons um, for gameplay wise but just want to know whether you want to just see me do the dungeons I'm more than happy to keep doing all of the gameplay such as this but um, I just want to make sure it's what you guys want to see It is, it's that frost breath that's really, really affecting me. This uh, could go on for quite a while, actually. So one thing I've noticed about this in comparison to any other ARPG is the actual areas are much bigger. I'm hoping that coming all the way down here there's going to be a cave or something at the bottom that I can do for next video but who knows I mean anything could happen really the fact that they are so big areas does mean that they take a long time to navigate that's the only problem with that I think this is actually going to be the way I'm going is going to take me to a place I need to go because one of them was from the goblin miners so yeah, there we go. So this is one of the areas I need to be in anyway, so...
Do 16 to 17 though. I do find that with this game. The areas that you need to go to seem to be higher level than you can actually reach. Because I'm level 14, so I'd need two levels. And I don't think there's two levels worth of content left in the map. So you're always behind on your... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're always behind on your levels whenever you go into a new area. Which is odd, to be fair, but... Right, so far... Oh, leather Cowl. Or Sturdy Spaulders. Sturdy Spaulders are better, but again... I don't think they look as good, but they are better, and at the moment that's more important. required for this one. Focus 24 as well. Hmm, okay. Right, so... I'm still not doing too bad. I've not died yet, so... I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to... I've got spider mines. And I've got a couple of free spaces on my bar, so let's go for spider mines. Let's see what they do for me. Right, they're bound to L2. So they follow me round, but for how long? It'd be good if they followed me round for good until they... No, they don't. Okay. I was going to say that would have been amazing, but never mind. At least it's something else that I can use. To hopefully cause damage at a distance. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching again. I do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload next. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. As I asked before, let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more Let's Play videos, then, you know, that's fine. If you don't want to see them and you want to see just information or things like that, builds, etc. Again, let me know down below because I'm using the Let's Plays as fillers between news for the games that I cover. Um, I'm not a news channel, so I don't cover news on everything. Um, there are enough of those out there. I really don't need to do that. But what I'm trying to do is cover some of the niche games that maybe you really enjoy, but nobody else covers on this particular platform. Um, Diablo, Inquisitor Martyr, this, um, ARPGs, isometric ARPGs especially, tend to get a raw deal. So um, that's what I want to cover um, news-wise and Let's Plays. So let me know whether that's what you're looking for. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. Take care and bye for now.